Okay, here we have uh, a game of cribbage, and this is being played on the ten-foot table, and it's. Uh, Let's have a look at the brackets. It's just a four-man tournament, and it's a single elimination. Now, this is a match between Marcellus and a guy called the Stubbs, not to be confused by Stubb. And for those of you who aren't familiar with cribbage, it's based on a card game, and when you play cribbage on a pool table, you have to match up matching pairs of balls as long as their corresponding value adds up to 15 points so for example Marcellus has just scored a cribbage there he's going for what looks like the 14 ball he's resting the cue ball to play position on the 1 so that will be another cribbage once he sinks this 1 ball and the object is the first person to get five cribbages in each rack will win the rack. There are eight cribbages. The final ninth one, if it's needed, would be a respotted 15 ball. And the 15 ball is a cribbage on its own and it's always the last ball that gets uh, potted in the cribbage game. Now, cribbage can be pretty tactical, especially if you're struggling for position on the second ball on your partner ball. Now if you look at the HUD in the top left it shows you what the partner ball is that Marcellus has to pot which is the 5 ball and he's hooked on the 5 ball and um, cribbage can become fairly tactical provided you're, th you're thinking on your feet while you're playing the game. If you can't make the cribbage then you're probably better trying to tie balls up down the centre line. So, so you'll see that uh, the 14 ball uh, was re-spotted, and it was spotted onto the head spot, and you can end up with a line of balls behind that head spot, and it can then get really tight and tactical. But some guys don't think about it that way. Some guys just want to pop balls and then probably end up losing the match because of it. So there you see companion ball wasn't potted again. Now the player has a choice, I think, of playing the cue ball from where it finished or behind the head string. And Marcellus has chosen to play behind the head string. And he's going for what looks to be the three ball. And again, top left companion ball is a 12, which I think is, is that the, that's the pink ball, isn't it? Yes. So that's going to squeeze in past the 5, which made the pocket bigger. And again, this is one game where you've got to think and plan ahead. It's quite important that you plan your route to the next ball so that's the 11 ball he's out into the middle of the table on the 4 ball and that will take him to cribbage number 4 and the 7 ball tied up so no point in trying to play on to this 8 ball so just looking at what's left here the ball that's on the left hand side of the table as we look at it is a 13 so the combination here is going to be the 2 and the 13 and it looks as if he's just going to try and draw back for the 2 and this will give him the first rack and he wins that one 5 cribbages to nil takes him into a one rack to nil lead. Let's have a look at the tournament details. We'll go to the main page and we see that it's a single elimination race to three in all rounds so Marcellus is uh, in the lead by one rack to nil. And let's see 
how the stubs plays. This is uh, someone who is uh, fairly critical about how people play a particular game if they don't play it to his particular liking. Well, we'll see how he plays. And he's got the 14 and the 1, that will give him his second cribbage. He split the 13 there and he's got the 2 in the open so he's got another one waiting. Looks a bit straight this too, he's going to have to maybe force it in. Oh no, he just killed it to take the 13 into the opposite pocket. Now, the 12 and the 3 are in the open. Three's down the bottom right hand corner as we look. And I think he's almost overdone it. Let's have a look. Uh, th think I think he can actually get the pot angle in that three. He needs to look at it a bit closer. He's playing this with side and he doesn't need to. He didn't need to. He should have looked at that closer. You could actually get past that 15 ball to get to the potting angle on the 3 and he may well have blew his chances there. This is where you've got to take your time and really study the space that you've got to get past the ball because um, looking at that, even with my eyes, and I've got, I don't have great eyes, I could see that you could get past that 15 to get to the, the potting angle on the 3. But as it is, he's given Marcellus a choice again of playing in play or playing from behind the head string and this is going to be a difficult shot because he's playing a pretty straight seven and the eight balls at the opposite end of the table so he's really asking a lot to get onto the eight ball um, the nine and the six are out in the open so that would be the shot and he's looking at a, an awkward cut on the eleven is he? Or is he going for the 9? Let's have a look. Yeah, he went for the cut in the 11. I don't know why. Although he did get position on the 4, but um, to me the easier shot was, was actually playing the 9 ball and uh, getting the cue ball in the middle of the table for the 6. Right, let's square up the camera. So, I would say that's probably giving away that rack to the stubs. He's on four cribbages now and again he has a choice, this three ball and that will get the cue ball up and down the table for the, the uh, 12 which is right on the head spot. Um, he's got a little soft one to play in the nine, get the cue ball off the side rail next to the middle pocket and back out for the six. I think he's okay, I don't think he's hampered by the 7. Should just be able to roll this 6 in, and that ties the match up at one rack all. And uh, again, poor choice of shot, sold that rack for Marcellus. Um, and this is where, in a game like cribbage you really need to be thinking on your feet at all times and, and give yourself the best option okay if he'd got the 11 and cut it in he would have been easily on the 4 but you've got to try and make your life easier and it's a bit of a messy looking table here so the first thing you do when you break the balls in cribbage provided you've got a decent enough time and there isn't a short shot clock you need to study the table immediately and get your head round where the balls are what's the best option for you and don't just bang at balls of course the other problem you have is is on the break off shot if you pot one or two balls then it gives you the option of one or two companion balls but they could be tied up so there is a fair bit of thought needed just depending on the lay of the table
Right, so what's the next option? The seven balls tied up in the right hand rail, so the eight's no use, the nine's over the corner, six balls up there in the middle of the table, so that would be a, a combination. Um, and of course that's another thing that players don't think about in cribbage you don't have to directly hit the ball that you need to uh, shoot as your partner ball you can play a, a combination shot onto the ball as long as you pot it and make the combination shot and make the partner ball then it's a legal shot uh, quite a lot of players don't realise that about cribbage we'll see if anything like that happens in this game So, an awkward four ball. Cue ball's going to be running across the table unless he draws it back. Now you see there's a there's an example there. I think this is uh, his first ball. He could pot that nine using the 13 and draw the cue ball back and hopefully get on that 6 and that's a good shot that's um, an example there of using a ball to pot a ball and now he's on perfectly on the 6 ball as his combination shot so that's going to give him his third cribbage but he's having a look around the table to see where his next one's going to come from. The 5 and the 7 are tied up. So that's two cribbages down. And now you have the 14 ball. Now why is he looking at this? Why is he looking at the 8 ball? Oh no, he's looking at the 13. My mistake. 13 and 2 is a good combo as well. See, that's, that's why you have to pay attention in cribbage. <laughs> But that does leave him, if he gets the cue ball out into the table, he's going to get a, a cut shot on this 14, unless he's going to try and come across and take the one first. Well, I don't know what's the, the best shot here. I mean, he's, he's limited to one corner pocket with this one ball, so he might go for the one ball first. see that's gone all wrong does that go past the 10 no it doesn't so that was uh, that was a shot where I think he should have taken the one because then he would have no issue getting on to the the 14 and so he's went from a, a rack winning opportunity there and he's given away a chance here to the stubs an easy starter, 14 and 1. However, his problems are going to start immediately when he gets this uh, pair. Because there's no other cribbages available. And the way the table's sitting at the moment, Marcellus is still odds on favourite to win this rack. Simply because the Stubbs has to do something to to move these two balls in the rail I don't think he can do it off this shot I think it's asking too much to do with the cue ball well that sold it Marcellus will just roll the seven ball down the rail onto the eight Why is he looking at the eight ball over the pocket first of all? He needs to he needs to cut that seven ball down. Surely he can cut or even play the combo and then kick the seven ball out. He's not thinking. That's better. He looks as if he's going to play it. Is he going to play it or is he not? That would be the shot. You need to play the billiard off the seven onto the eight thereby kicking the seven ball out into the table and at least giving you an opportunity to pot it. But doing this, no, that was never going to happen. Again, just bad, bad choice and p 
poor imagination if he couldn't see the combination of that uh, seven ball onto the eight to at least give him a chance. This way, he's got no chance. But what he's doing is is doing the right thing. And that was that was where he's still thinking correctly in cribbage. That because he couldn't get on the seven ball, he decided to pot the fifteen ball, and that way. He's tied up two balls and he's left absolutely nothing for the stubs. So that was good thinking and that's good tactical play. So we're seeing some silly shots but we're seeing some good thinking and that's how you have to play cribbage. So now um, the position that we're in, we've got all the balls tied up apart from the, the, uh, the 10 ball. So somebody is going to have to make a move, and whoever makes the first mistake is probably going to end up losing a rack. Now, that's a, a chance, five balls tight on the right rail, but this ten ball, it goes in. So now he just needs to roll this five in, not get too ambitious. And, well, he'd obviously quite a bit of stuff on that cue ball there. And now Marcellus looks as if he's, well, he decided to play the ball in place there. I don't know what advantage he's going to get from that because I don't think he could pot the ten. No. Looks like it's just going to be a safety of some description. Well, that 15 ball's fine where it is because it serves no purpose to anybody there, and uh, of course, nobody's going to be shooting at it. Well, the stubs thought you could uh, cut that 10 in and um, I would suggest you can wave bye-bye to this rack because Marcellus just needs to firm shot in the 7, on the, sorry, the 8 ball, get the cue ball into the middle of the table again, pass the 10 ball and should have a shot on the 7. But he's looking at playing something a wee bit more delicate on the five just to leave the ten it's going to be the same result so Marcellus goes into a two rack to one leading this race to three so you're seeing what you would call some elementary mistakes that is wrong choice of shot but you're also seeing some of the tactical side of it So Marcellus gets a ball down and it's a 12 so his combination ball, his partner ball is a 3 which you see in the top left of the HUD and absolutely no shot on there but a very very ambitious 3 ball combo and well from what I can see there's a there's a couple of opportunities here for the stubs Again, because it's cue ball in hand in the kitchen, you you have to play out the kitchen, so you can't pot any of those balls that are behind the, the line. But he's picked out the 10, and even then he's overhit it because he'd left himself awkward, an awkward cut on the 5. And that's a, what I would think is just a slightly rushed shot. He didn't take his time. And Marcellus has that 10 and 5 cribbage to fall back on. 
so he's looking at getting the two and where's the 13 ball well that looks a wee bit awkward next to the one ball in the end rail there as we look at it at the top of the screen this is going to have to be delicately played and he's overdid it by two or three inches so again that was a poor shot surely there was a better there was a better combo there he'd have been better going for the 10 and the 5 got a bit too greedy but then again he who dares wins so an easy starter 8 ball to follow but the 10 balls now tied up and the 13 and the 2 are tied up or the 12 and the 2 is it I keep them mixed up with the colour of these balls and it's a 12 chance here to manoeuvre something there well again not good enough on the 11 ball it wasn't a difficult shot down the rail but probably thinking in other things and forgot about potting the 11 and Marcellus at the moment is probably looking at the 3D view of the table studying the lay of the balls and he's chosen cue ball in hand behind the head string again and you notice we've got a line of balls in the middle of the table all of those are companion balls all tied up so it doesn't leave an awful lot actually available again this is just going to be a safety of some description and there's absolutely nothing on the table is uh, available as a cribbage opportunity so balls are going to have to start moving off this um, this line up so the safety off that 11 was ok because the 4 ball companion balls tied up in the line but this next shot is certainly going to move the 9 ball and that brings the 9 into the open and in fact he's potted the 9 and he's finished nicely on the 6 joy there with uh, trying to move a few balls around we've got a bit of movement there and well he does have a shot in the four it's a tricky little cut in the four just needs to try and roll this in dead weight he's got it I don't know whether that 10 goes past a 2. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't. Now, if you can get this 12, the 3 ball does go past the 14. I just need to slow up a bit. This is again asking a bit more th than he would really prefer to be playing this shot, but it goes in. That takes him to three. 
And now this is where he doesn't want to get over ambitious and do something silly. It's much better for him to keep balls tied up and make the stubs force the play. That's a good shot and that leaves, well it does, it's a good shot in one way but then another way looking at the 14, the pot and angle in the 14, there is an angle to run the cue ball down onto the end rail and try and hit that one and that was a good shot and that's brought the, what the hell is that orange ball, I'll get mixed up with these balls, that's the 13. So, this one's an awkward one in the middle. And that's going to tie another ball up in the line-up at the end of the table there. Let's just tidy the camera up again. But that was um, that was a bit unlucky there for the stub because that angle in the 14 was perfect just to either hit that 13 or certainly hit the 1. He hit the 1 but didn't get a lot of luck in the position. And Marcellus is going to roll the one ball in, and if he rolls through far enough, he's going to have a shot in this 14 into the middle. It does pot. He needs to keep rolling, though. He needs to keep rolling. And I think he's just going to have a bang at this and go for the bank. He doesn't get it in one pocket, he'll get it in another. I think it's asking a lot to try and cut that in from there. So he thinks wiser and plays the what I call the safety shot, putting the, the non companion ball, and that ties another couple of balls up in the lineup and leaves everything perfectly safe. Now the Stubbs is in the same dilemma, uh, he looks more like he's going to be, is he going to be drawn into trying this one ball or is he going to pot that 13 and just keep it tied up tight? Yeah, he went for the bank, still no joy but it still ties another ball up in the bunch there. So at least we know that that one ball is sitting on the head spot as we look at it and that will certainly go into the middle. It might even go, yeah, it goes into the corner. So one ball goes in. Marcellus is on the 14. Now he needs to just play this quite delicately because his cue ball will run straight into these three balls and split them. He doesn't want to go banging into it, he just wants to play it nice and that's that's pretty good he's got the shot in the 10 and remember this 10 ball and the combo on the 5 ball is going to be all he needs to win the match so that was well played so the final cribbage gives Marcellus a 3 racks to 1 win against the Stubbs